I have a few questions to ask you about the making of the Horse Spirit album. First question comes from a fan. How is the music on this CD different from previous CDs? That's a great question. Uh, the Horse Spirit album is musically, it's like I went back in a way to the music that I started creating 25 years ago in that there are a lot more uh, flutes in it, uh, there's a lot of skin drum percussion in it, it has a very Native American feel to it, it tells a very Native American story, but it's like that music is now matured because of my having created music for over 25 years. And so it's, it's, it's drawing from all that experience to create this new music. And so in, in that way, that's how the music is different and how it's changed from uh, what I've done previously. The next question comes from Punkas Acres. Do you have a favorite track on CD? Uh, actually, I kind of love them all, to be honest with you. But... If I had to choose a track or two, I would say my first choice would be a song called Teo Shpaye. That's a Lakota word that means extended blood family. I composed that song because it was a part, it was, it was written about the part of the ride where we had already been on the horses for three days. And it was really the first time on the ride when all of us as Lakota people were able to sit around a table and share a meal together and be together as one. And it was a real feeling of community and love and acceptance. And also it was that shared kind of feeling that we had about the fact that we were all making this sacrifice together. So it was a real powerful experience in that way. So that song is a favorite. And the other uh, favorite of mine is, is uh, the title track, Horse Spirit. I happen to love that song. It's, it's just got, it actually has the sound of, uh, of running horses in it. And uh, it's just a powerful piece of music. And so those would be my two favorites. Next question comes from Sharla McDonald. What inspired you the most to make this CD? Uh, the answer to that is, uh, is, is, is an easy one. Uh, it was my experience on the Chief Bigfoot Memorial Ride. That is what inspired this music. Um, it was my relationship on that ride with a very special horse whose name was C.H., and he and I rode 135 miles together on this ride, and so I developed this deep connection with this horse and the spirit of that animal. And so the combination of that relationship with the horse and the experience on the ride and what it all meant with the Wounded Knee Massacre and all of that, those two things came together to, um, to inspire this music. Next question comes from another fan. What was your most profound moment during the ride? Well, there were many profound moments. Um, uh, one profound moment was when me and my older brother David were on the horses together in this spot, and there was just me and, and him on the horse, and there was no one around, and it was nothing but snow-covered prairie as far as the eye could see. And it was so quiet incredible and all you could hear was the crunching of the horse's hooves on that snow-covered ground. That was a profound moment. But probably the most profound moment was when this young teenage girl uh, shared with my, my brother David and I that she had been riding the Bigfoot Memorial Ride for six years and every year the Bigfoot Memorial Ride comes into the Badlands on Christmas Day. And for six years this young lady said, she had not gotten a Christmas present because that was her Christmas present to herself, was to ride into the Badlands on a horse and make that sacrifice on Christmas Day. That was a powerful, profound moment. Okay, the next question comes from Zach Clark. The album is inspired by the memorial ride you did in the winter, but I want to know how you're making the parallels. Well, the parallel on the ride um, and, and to the music is, is about, it's really about uh, 
tying together musically this story of the Bigfoot Memorial Ride and what it means and what the Bigfoot Memorial Ride is about, what it stands for. You know, that Bigfoot Memorial Ride is about honoring a journey that Chief Bigfoot and his people took back in 1890. And, and it's to honor that journey because that journey ended in, in a terrible tragedy. And so we take that same route that they took on a horse during that same time to honor their journey. And it ends in the same place where, where they met their tragic end. And so that's what that parallel is about. I have one more question for you, John. Is the album more of a tribute to the spirit of the horse? Is it a musical journey through your experiences on the ride? A combination of those or something? completely different? Okay, it's a great question. Um, the, it's actually both. Uh, the, as I said earlier uh, in answering that other question, um, the connection that I had with my horse was something that, to be honest, was unexpected, but it was an incredible blessing to me. And I, I will forever be in love with this horse because of that experience. And at the same time, myself and that horse were making this sacrificial journey for the reason to honor uh, Chief Bigfoot and his people and, and, and that journey that they took back in 1890. And also, in closing, to kind of pay tribute to the future and to, and to honor the youth and how they're going forward um, and carrying on our traditions and our people. And so it's a, it's a, it's a lesson of hope as well. So.